Victoria's government says it will cooperate with two inquiries into its decision to walk away from the Commonwealth Games. Crossbench MPs have united with the coalition to force the parliamentary inquiry. A rare united stand and the first time in Victoria's 60th parliament where the Andrews government didn't get what it wanted. Eyes 25, nose 15, therefore the motion has succeeded. The crucial moment came when crossbench MPs David Limbrick, Moira Deeming and Adam Somurek joined the Greens to back a coalition proposal for a parliamentary inquiry. That investigation could invite Daniel Andrews to appear for questioning. Some MPs initially voted with the state government to only refer the matter to the Auditor General. So this is a question of whether we risk a political sideshow. Uh, on, on one hand, to put it bluntly, or we allow a dive into the numbers by an independent organisation that has demonstrated skills in audit and investigation. But with the help of the Greens, the opposition gained its inquiry. Today is a watershed day. It came after a letter to the opposition leader confirmed the State Auditor General had already established an investigation. We are at least satisfied in knowing that an external body, like the Upper House of the Victorian Parliament now, will be able to conduct an inquiry free from any kind of interference or pressure. Amid stalled negotiations on an exit fee, Commonwealth Games Australia says we welcome any detailed analysis of how and why the decision to cancel Victoria 2026 was made, as well as potential access to explicit detail on the cost of the Games articulated by the Premier. And with Daniel Andrews still sick, his deputy faced a grilling. Will the Deputy Premier commit to give evidence to the newly established Select Committee on the 2026 Commonwealth Games? For the Leader of the Opposition to suggest we cut across and interfere with that relationship is deeply Order. inappropriate. Order. And as the Upper House voted to establish a parliamentary inquiry into the Commonwealth Games, it now awaits debate potentially in a fortnight on a fresh integrity bill from the Greens by far and away is the most critical single reform to combat corruption in Victoria. A busy time for integrity and transparency in Victoria. Um, Show some respect and sit down. It astounds me at the disrespect that is being shown in this house today. Simon Love, Sky News, Melbourne.